on this side uh, so recently while practicing data structure i found one pattern for the stack so i will be sharing here so what to look in a question where we can identify that it can be solved through a stack so what i found is whenever a current element depends on the element before it or after it but in a specific order this is very important so then we can say that it can be solved through a stack so i'll try to uh, give couple of examples to clarify this line so the most common type of stack which generally helping me in solving certain type of question is monotonic stack so monotonic stack means organizing the stack in a particular order it can be in increasing order it can be decreasing order so monotonic increasing or monotonic decreasing okay so the stack values like this uh, monotonic increasing and decreasing way the stack values are in a decreasing manner also one more observation if you see here we will see that generally in a questions whenever it comes that hey find me the next smaller or what is the previous smaller then their increasing can help us why because in increasing we have sorted from smaller to larger right so now let's say you are here okay if you have to find the next smaller then what is the next smaller out of this is next value previous is smaller the previous value of this one okay so monotonic increasing can help with this and if in a question if it says that hey find me the next greater so next greater would be this is already greater the next greater would be this right so now let's say it is 10 so next would be 9 so next greater previous greater would be 11 so always say that whenever you trying to find greater what give me the next greater previous greater then it's you have to use is monotonic decreasing whenever we have to like next smaller previous smaller just opposite monotonic increasing can help you with that let's try to see some questions so this is the first question which i saw always like find the next greater value it's a medium level question so this is the input array which is given okay and the output array is let's say for the 13 what is the next greater value so generally no value is greater than this so minus 1 for 8 what is the next greater value is 9 for 1 it is next greater is 5 for uh, 5 what is the next greater value it's 9 for 2 it's 5 For five again, it's nine. For this nine, what is the next greater value? It's twelve. For seven again, it is a twelve. For six again, it's a twelve. And for twelve, next greater is minus one. So this is the output we wanted. So here, if you see that, how you know that we have to use a stack here is one thing. Let's say that for this index eight, the next greater value answer is nine. Why? we didn't choose 12 so here we can say that order matter so it's following an order that's why the next immediate value the which is a greater that's what we choose so or yes order mat matters and here if you say that it says that next greater okay so when we are saying next greater means monotonic decreasing uh yeah monotonic decreasing because it's a greater right so let's say it's opposite decreasing so just to memorize it let's say that in the output array i have everything filled with minus 1 first okay total 10 values so first 13 came i have put 13 okay now let's say 8 comes so i am using monotonic decreasing so decreasing order i am maintaining so 8 yes we can put no problem so then one came again it's a decreasing no problem right uh, one we have put now five so now if i put five it's not in a decreasing so i have to maintain so i have to pop this up okay so when you pop this up for the one we will also store index for here so for one what is the next value is five so for one index is 0 1 2 0 so here i have put five okay so now 5 here is in the stack now okay now next comes 2 again it's a decreasing order so no problem so i have put 2 then comes again 5 so here if you see that 
I have to pop it up to maintain a monotone rate decreasing. So for two, it's five, which is coming. So this is the index for the two, right? Uh, zero, one, two, three, four. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, this one. So here I have put 5 and I have put in the stack 5. Then comes the 9. So to put a 9, if I put 9 here, it will uh, break monotonic decreasing. So I have to pop this up 5. So for this index, I have to put 9. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this become 9. I have also have to pop this up right because 9 is greater than this and for this index is this one 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 so this is also become 9 so this will also become pop it up then here comes the 9 but yeah 9 is also greater than 8 so I have to pop this out also and let's say that I am storing also the index here also so for 8 is 0 1 so this also become 9 and uh, 9 is smaller than 13 so it's okay so I will pop 9 push 9 so currently my stack hold only 13 and then 9. Okay, after that 9, what is that? 7. 7 is smaller than that, put it. Then 6, smaller than that, put it. Okay, then comes 12. 12 is smaller than that? No. So I have to pop it out. So 6 index is uh, second last. So this is 12. Then this goes because 12 is also greater than this. So this also goes. For 7 also it become 12 and similarly 12 is also greater than this so this also got pop up so 12 here and 12 is uh, smaller than this so I will push it up and yes uh, array finished so this is my output minus 1 9 5 9 5 9 12 12 12 minus 1 so we have achieved this output so with monotonous decreasing stack we can uh, solve this way so if you can see another question there like online stock span which is also a medium level question so there the question says that like you have given an input array which is the stock price on a particular day we have to return the number of span such that the con consecutive backward days stock prices are less than equals to today's stock price starting from today what does it mean Let's say 60. So this this one, how one we got it. So this, this is the today's stock price. So we are considering that less than equals to today's stock price. So less than equals to. So this is one day and we have to look the backward consecutive days and we have to find how many days it will lower less than equals to. So here if you go backward, the next is was 80. So it was higher than that. So we say that only one day it was less than equals to. So one. So if you see 70, so one day for this one, and we have to see consecutively backward that how many days it was less than equals to. So yeah, this is one day. And after that 80 greater than this. So only two days. This is one and this is two. Okay. Similarly, let's say for 75, how many days it was less than equals to one. 2, 3, 4. Okay, only 4 days. After that, it is greater than this. So, 4. Okay, so now here if you see in this question, one thing is order maintain. Yes, order matters because we have to find out like the whenever we got the first increasing, right? Greater than uh, this one greater than this stock so definitely order matters and here if you see I need what previous greater okay so when I got a previous greater so what I am trying to look for here in this question I am going consecutive backward and I see that hey any greater value than this 75 yes I found it so when I am saying previous greater now greater is like a uh, monotonic decreasing so it's always help you better like okay greater than decreasing if it is like a smaller than increasing monotonic increasing so i am trying to find previous greater so monotonic decreasing stack i will try to use it so here let's say that 
my output array currently it's all one so how many elements one two three four five six seven okay all are currently one because by default uh, one same day also considered as one day so now let's say that first hundred comes so i put hundred and also then span it was minimum okay then 80 okay so 80 here i am maintaining monotone and decreasing so yes 80 is less than this so no change so only one day it was decreasing then comes 60 60 is also maintaining monotone and decreasing and the number of span days it was less than equals to is only one because after that it's increasing then here comes 70 now here if you see if i put 70 here it will break the monotonic decreasing so i have to pop it out okay so for 70 how what is the span one plus so one for itself okay because the question says that starting from today so for that day also we are counting so one plus we are popping 60 right so how many span it was low so that will add one then 70 is uh, smaller than this or greater is smaller so it is uh, following the decreasing stack so yeah i will put 70 here and how many days span it was low two okay so here we can update our uh, output array also 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 so change it to 2 okay then after comes 60 so 60 is decrease uh, smaller than 70 so only one day it was lower than that then comes 75 so 75 is greater than 60 so we have to pop it out so for 75 1 plus so for 60 1 plus it is greater than 70 also 75 so we have to pop it out also so number of days so 2 span 70 was low then 80 75 is smaller than that so yes so we can keep it so our stack would look like 100 1 81 and now after that 75 how many days 2 3 4 so for 75 we have to update it 4 okay then come 85 so 85 is greater than this so we have to out so 85 become 1 plus so 1 for itself then 75 4 85 is greater than 80 also so we have to pop it out plus 1 and it is lesser than this so 4 5 6 so 85 comma 6 so total 6 so this is the output 1 1 1 1 1 2 1 4 6 okay so there is one more question like daily temperature i think you can solve it now you can tell me in the comment section which one we will be using monotonic increasing or decreasing so here if in this question we have to find out that on a particular day this is the temperature when is the next warmer day will come so 0 1 2 so it's a 4 output say 4 so how 1 it is uh, not a warmer day because already 75 so next warmer day than this greater than equals to 75 right so again 69 is not a warmer not a warmer yes so 1 2 3 4 so after 4 days the next warmer day will come